They're good times. They're bad times. These are the whiskey times. I'm Damon, your whiskey enthusiast, and as always, thank you for joining us here at the Whiskey Times. Today, we have a chapter near and dear to my heart. We're going with Caribbean cask and a rum finished cask. Scotches, both aged 14 years. So this is kind of like a duel off of the best Caribbean cask or something like that. I don't know. But I have found, and if you try it and you don't like it, then you don't like it. But I have found that I love finished in rum cask scotches. Um, so much so that I'm actually aging my own um, whiskey in a rum cask, which I aged rum in, personally. Uh, and we'll be trying that on the Moonshine episode as like a side project. But anyway, the Balvenie and the Glenlivet. Glenlivet? Glenlivet. 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 14-year-old, for all intents and purposes, Caribbean cask. Let's duel them off. All right. I will pour these side by side. Not going a whole lot because I've tasted some whiskeys today. So, and I'm probably going to be tasting some more. <laughs> All right. So, Balvenie, go on the bat. Let's do it. Mm. Very familiar with this one. Not so much with this one. Uh... Ooh. 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 I am familiar with other Glen Levitts, and I enjoy them. They're very good scotch, everything I've tried at least. Um, they're kind of one of them ones that maybe if you're in a bar or something, you want to order a scotch and uh, you don't want to pay a whole lot for your, <laughs> for your glass, go with the Glen Levitt. Mm, this one's different though. You, it's... Uh, it's a, it's a weird one. I'm going to try that second, I think. I'm going to go with the Balvenie first. And on the nose, it's just, I love Balvenie distillery in general. All of it. Everything they do. They're delicious. Mm. And if you like space sides, that's your, that's your boy right there. Incredibly smooth. Has all encompassing flavors of scotch that you're that Balvenie always has. But then it has this at the end, this spicy, this spiced rum. Not the flavor of it, just the essence. I'd say just the salt bay of rum. Mm. That is a badass bottle. I'll tell you what. Side note story to this one. I've put this bottle out while we're doing tastings and and just kind of everybody's doing, you know, taste what you want. And as we were drinking it, we all found that as our hands were reaching towards the bottle, they always tend to end up right here. This is a damn good scotch. There's something about it. It's so easy to drink. It's so nice that it's got a short uh, finish uh, but it nice it leaves a nice flavor in your mouth this is just all around I highly recommend the Balvenie 14 and a shout out to Stuart Wells in Scotland for putting me on to the Balvenie I have sent him a care package over there and hopefully we're hearing from him soon uh, in another chapter of the Whiskey Times so kudos Stu and thank you for the recommendation and on to the Glen Levet, and I, they go Caribbean Reserve is what they're going with here. Finishing rum barrels. Okay. It's a nice, nice scotch. Like I said, Glen Levitt, you really can't go wrong if you're just out to have a glass of scotch. It's it's a decent scotch. It's, it's in a decent price range, and it delivers. <clears throat> the 
that's a nice conscious war. I will give it a nod. I enjoyed it. They did. They captured some. So it's like a tropical. As far as scotch goes, it's different. They definitely captured something tropical there, which is weird, but cool. It's fine scotch. But between the two, Caribbean cask versus Caribbean cask, my hands down favorite. And the nod goes to Balvenie. This is a badass scotch. If you have not tried it, I highly recommend that you do. And this is one that you won't hate me for going and buying a bottle of. I actually was in the liquor store the other day, and a guy was in there. And you'll see this quite often. I'm sure plenty of you have. I'm looking for... I was looking through the scotch section. I'm looking for a, a gift to give somebody. Um, and I, I really don't know. I'm not a scotch guy. <laughs> Punch hell. I told him to get this. He didn't take my word for it, though. He went to the store owner, and the store owner said, Punch <laughs> Get this. And he did. I'm telling you. This is good. Good scotch. You'll enjoy it. You'll love it. Anyway, we always thank you for being here at the Whiskey Times. Thanks for, for joining us. It's always an adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all of that jazz. And may you be 30 minutes in heaven before the devil knows you're dead. <laughs>